So, so many. The one that, the first thing that came to mind um, is this, is a record that I got called Realist in the Room. Uh, Realist in the Room is the moniker too. That's just, I don't know if you know, it's like the beginning of all my songs, I say Realist in the Room because that's what, that's just who I am. I'm going to be one of the realest people in the room regardless of what room I'm in. You know what I'm saying? People could be a lot of things. I might not be the richest nigga in the room. You feel me? I might not be the most handsome nigga in the room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be one of the realest niggas in the room. Period. So realest in the room is 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 um, a moniker that I live by, and it's a song that I started out writing uh, with Jason. That I didn't, I wasn't planning on this song to turn out the way it ended. You know what I'm saying? But in the end, I ended up realizing after the fact that I was speaking to my unborn daughter. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wrote the song for anybody to listen to it to get the feeling. You know what I'm saying? I say, um, in the hook, I say, when they try to tell you that you through, tell them I said, don't get shit confused. Always know you ain't got shit to prove. Always stay the realest in the room. One day you're going to play this in your room. Know that there ain't nothing you can't do. God don't make no promise he can't prove. And I know that dreams do come true. Right? And when I wrote the hook, I wasn't thinking, I'm going to write this for my daughter. But at the end of the song, I realized, like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, yeah. That's the thing about music. That's the thing about putting yourself on record. It's like, that shit lives on. You know what I'm saying? So if something ever happens, God forbid, that shit will live on. And now she will be able to play that and anybody else will be able to play that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, the song is honestly just instructions for life. Really, it's instructions for life. Like, I don't want to take too much time, but I'll tell you what the verse say. <laughs> the verse the verse that you a dream, you a dream, you a dream. Don't worry what they do, you got your lane. You gonna take that sun with that rain. You gonna feel some love, you gonna feel pain. Sometimes you'll feel like no one cares. Some thunder and some lightning will be flashing in there. But, lo- but know you gonna live by your actions. We stand up and we don't back down. Ain't no fear in me, ain't no fear in you. When they hearing me, then they hearing you. When they cheering me, then they cheering you. So always keep it real because you came from some real ones. You know what I'm saying? So like, like that's that's like a, a real, I think, inspirational record that's going to drop sooner than later. But it came from a, a real sincere place where I was just, I was just talking. I was like, yo, I want to, I want to say something to the people that inspired them. And then at the end, I realized, like, wait a minute. I'm talking to her. <laughs> like, I'm talking, I'm talking to her. You know what I'm saying? This is this is kind of for her, but it's for everybody else too. So when Realist in the Room drop, drop, just remember that 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 I told y'all about this one. I be telling people I got a Holy Ghost writer. You feel me? <laughs> you can't take a lot of the stuff to the heart, bro. You wanna know craziest? Think about some of these things I'm about to tell you. It's some people who don't like Michael Jackson. It's people that say Michael Jackson was trash. Like, it's some people say Michael Jordan was trash. LeBron James is trash. Kobe Bryant wasn't that good. Like, you feel me? Like, there's people who say, like, so Jay Z, I know mad people who talk about your man Jay Z ain't really that dope. Like, Jay Z is not that dope. Like, how is he not that dope? So, you feel me? So you really can't take too too much into consideration about how people gonna respond, man. You can spend so much more time focusing on the people who do love it and, and, and want to see you do better than, than focusing on anything that might not be, you know what I'm saying, to your betterment. Like, that's it, man. That's it. Like I said, you just want people to know points, points on the board, you know what I'm saying? Music is, is, is coming soon, you know? It's gonna keep going. On me is dropping soon. Um, everything is fucked. It's coming soon, and then we're gonna just keep rocking out like that, man. I just want everybody to, to when they hear this music, to enjoy themselves, to enjoy themselves. Get what the fuck you want to get from it. You feel me? Like you know, that's all. That's all. I'm putting out music that I like, and, and you could just vibe with it. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to. Not trying to do any one thing in particular. Sometimes people do that, and then that's why people be looking crazy on the internet. And the internet, in the age that we live in, we got to nail a lot of motherfuckers that's trying. <laughs> we got a lot of people that's trying. You feel me? And it's like we can see it. We can see that you're trying. You know? And and it's like why? Why? Why try 
to, to be something or do something when you could just be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, who is that? Who's that little motherfucker? Yoda or some shit, right? And they said, there is no try. It's only do or do not. So that's it. You feel me? 